The Linear City is a component of the Saudi Arabian government's larger development plan, Saudi Vision 2030. The Saudi Arabian economy is heavily reliant on the oil industry. The world's second largest oil reserve is located in Saudi Arabia. The country's strength is its oil industry. But this dependence also carries a risk, it has been acknowledged. As a result, the government is attempting to broaden the economy. The country is investing primarily in large infrastructure projects, education, scientific research, the tourism industry, and the healthcare system as part of the Saudi Vision 2030 initiative. The objective is to open the door to new industries, centered primarily on future technologies, like renewable power. Saudi Arabia's smart city Neom, which is currently in the planning stages, is going to be unlike anything else on Earth. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman said at the unveiling of the project that the 170-kilometer coastal strip in the country's northwest would have no roads or cars and emit no carbon dioxide. A significant step in Saudi Arabia's transition away from an oil-based economy will be the use of clean energy to power the smart city. The line, which is going to be built in Neom and will house 9 million people, will be run by artificial intelligence in societies that are connected to one another and designed to coexist with nature. Excavation on this huge project has already begun. This futuristic development will prioritize walkability, clean energy, and technology to create a new way of life in response to the issues of traffic, pollution, and infrastructure that dominate urban life in conventional cities. Neom CEO Nadmi Al Nasser said the city would make full use of artificial intelligence technology at the Global AI Summit on in Riyadh. Neom Saudi Arabia's flagship business and tourism development on the Red Sea coast was first unveiled in 2017 by Prince Mohammed. It is a key project, the Vision 2030, which outlines the kingdom's plans to diversify the economy. Smart towns and cities, ports and business areas, research centers, sports and entertainment venues, and tourist centers will all be part of the project. Total development cost of city will be $500 billion. The development will cover 26,500 square kilometers and be divided into several zones including logistics and industrial zones, it is anticipated to be finished in 2025. There is a network of airports in the plans, one of which is International the First, which opened last year and is in the northern part of Sharma, is called Neom Bay Airport. Neom employees and investors can take regular flights there. Antonio Veves, Neom's chief urban development officer, stated that one of the world's largest international airports would be completed by 2030. It is anticipated that a business and technology center will generate 380,000 jobs and contribute $48 billion to the kingdom's gross domestic product. This is expected to begin construction in the first quarter of this year. Mia aims to provide an alternative way of life and address some of the most pressing global issues affecting urban areas. To highlight man's relationship with the natural world, the city will preserve 95% of the surrounding natural environment. In order to guarantee a zero-emission, carbon-positive ecosystem, all of Neom's energy sources, solar, wind, and hydrogen-based power generation, will be renewable. The project's proponents claim that Neom will be a regional leader in water desalination-based production and storage. Water-related research companies and startups will be drawn to high-tech modular systems that are interoperable to drive innovation and lead in all water industry sectors. Through cutting-edge infrastructure, Neom's water distribution network will be completely interconnected. Neom will be at the forefront of water technology thanks to this, which will minimize water loss. David Reevely, CEO of Solar Water, stated, Our game-changing desalination technology is 100% carbon neutral and completely sustainable. We have found a partner in Neom who has a clear idea of how a new future in harmony with nature should look. For the first time in 150 years, a major urban development has been designed around people, not roads, in the line project. All of the city's essential daily services, like schools, medical clinics, leisure centers, and green spaces, are within a five-minute walk, making it walkable. Residents will be able to travel longer distances using high-speed public transportation, which will make all Neom areas accessible within 20 minutes. Access to high-speed public transportation services that connect all neighborhoods will enhance an urban environment that prioritizes walking, cycling, and personal electric mobility devices. Progress is already being made. Five to six projects for resort development within the city, in parallel with the line, with some resorts estimated to open after three years, 
Neom CEO Nazmi Al Nasser stated this week. He stated that the progress of the project has been minimally affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the greatest obstacle is acquiring additional bilateral and multilateral partnerships. He added that all projects were undergoing urban planning and development, and additional details will be announced once each site plan has been completed. The first quarter of this year saw the beginning of the line's construction. The line is one of the world's largest and most complicated infrastructure projects thanks to agreements for the development of a cutting-edge transportation infrastructure that have been signed with construction firms Acom and Bechtel. Neom's digital ambitions will be accelerated by the signing of a contract last year for the supply of a 5G network infrastructure with Saudi Telecom Company. Additionally, Neom entered into a partnership worth $5 billion with Aqua Power and Air Products in the United States to construct the world's largest green hydrogen and ammonia plant, which is expected to go into operation in 2026. Neom will benefit from the technology provided by solar water in achieving one of its goals, which is to revolutionize the process of desalinating water. This will assist in resolving Saudi Arabia's water access issue. The line is a linear city which will be 110 miles long and 200 meters wide within the area of Neom. It is planned to house 9 million residents, and all basic services will be within a 5-minute walking distance. It will run on 100% renewable energy, and 95% of land will be preserved for nature. People's health and well-being will be prioritized over transportation and infrastructure, unlike traditional cities, according to the official NEOM website. Described as a zero-car environment, residents who live in the line will instead have access to a high-speed rail line. The aim is that no cars will improve the air quality and give people more disposable income as they are not spending it on vehicle expenses. It will cost an expected $100 to $200 billion to build, which is around 88 billion pounds to 176 billion pounds. The country, particularly its youth and future generations, is being led into a modern era where man and nature can coexist and flourish in harmony by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman who had stated in July that NEOM would be partially funded through a 2024 flotation. The Public Investment Fund, the Kingdom's Sovereign Wealth Fund, will contribute half of the cost of the city's first phase, which is expected to cost $319 billion. The financial zone that is in the end set to house 9 million individuals is supposed to have limit with respect to 450,000 by 2026 and 1.5 to 2 million by 2030. By 2045, it will eventually accommodate 9 million people. Plans for the actual city in NEOM have been presented for the first time since the line was announced earlier this year. The benefits of this city concept should make it the city of the future, in Bin Salman's opinion. There will be three levels of organization in the city. At ground level, there will be a complete pedestrian zone without roads or automobiles. Green parks should encourage leisure activities like walking. The second level ought to function as a service level that houses shops and other types of commercial space. The city's spine will be at the third and lowest level. This is where people and goods will move around the city. People should be able to travel to any point along the line in just 20 minutes with the planned ultra-high-speed transit system. The entire layout is based on the premise that many large cities of today are a result of the Industrial Revolution, and as such, they were built more for machines, automobiles, and industry than for the people who live in them. This spine is supposed to connect the various modules of the city with one another so that all activities and errands can be completed by walking or taking public transportation. However, it remains to be seen whether a strict line will result in a city that is more tailored to the requirements of its inhabitants. As a free trade zone with its own tax and legal systems, the government wants to establish any on this is done to make it possible for international investors to feel safe and not be intimidated by Saudi Arabia's Sharia-based, ultra-conservative legal system. International investors are expected to be interested in the widely promoted visions and the promise of progressive laws. However, the contradiction between these promises and the Saudi Arabian government's actions cannot be ignored. However, at the same time, he has been accountable for numerous violations of human rights, including a significant uptick in the number of political activists detained in the country. The murder of Saudi journalist Shamal Khashoggi in the Saudi Arabian consulate in Istanbul has also been linked to the Crown Prince. The goal of the NEOM project in the Align is to improve the public's perception of the Saudi government abroad. It shows that Saudi Arabia wants to be more open to international business, 
but it also shows that it is now intolerant of any opposition to the Saudi crown prince's plans. Let us see how well they will do in this. The line is a daring concept. It is intended to be. However, if we are to improve the built environment, might we need daring concepts? It's possible that the Saudi kingdom's wish list won't include everything. Like an artificial moon in flying cars, however, cities that are run more effectively and have access to nature and amenities may not be far off from where we ought to aim.